Uber's little data breach episode is coming back to bite them. Xbox, Twitter, Uber, Postmates, One Note, Netflix, Movie Pass, Lyft, Google, Facebook, eBay, DoorDash, Apple, Amazon, Airbnb, The Entrepreneur. Hey everyone, this is Kevin, The Entrepreneur, and I never thought I'd actually talk about Uber's data breach ever again. Which is funny because we just spent a whole video talking about how they want more data, they want to be like Google Maps, you can watch that other video if you want. And yet, the funny thing is like, as I'm talking about that, it kind of slipped my mind. I'm also going to be talking about a story where Columbia has ordered Uber to improve their data um, security after the data breach, which shows that you really can't trust Uber with this data, and yet they want more of it. So that's just kind of a funny thing, and yeah, we're gonna obviously look at what the new demands are from Columbia. However, before we talk about any of that, let's have a word from our sponsors. If you have rideshare insurance, you know what a disaster it is. It's super expensive. Some guys are paying over $100 a month for it on top of their regular insurance. So we're working with an insurance company to help lower prices and get better coverage. They're working on a plan where Uber and Lyft drivers will either pay by the mile or by the hour. You'll only pay for what you use, but we need some information from you, the drivers. We need to know on average how far and how long you drive with Uber and Lyft each week. So would you click on the link below in the description and take just five minutes to fill out the survey? We'd really appreciate it. And before we continue with this article, I want to reiterate that they do really need you to take that survey. They are so close to getting all the responses they need, and you can trust them with their data, as far as I am aware. They haven't had any major security breaches or been convicted of any crimes. They've been really good to me, honestly. Anyway, let's look over this. Columbia orders Uber to improve data security after 2016 breach. Columbia has given ride-hailing app Uber Technologies four months to improve its data security, the commerce regulator said on Tuesday after a 2016 data breach affected more than 260,000 of the South American country's residents. Last year, Uber agreed to pay a fine of $148 million in a settlement reached in the United States for failing to disclose the massive breach, which, by the way, was nothing. Considering what was leaked, what was stolen, what was compromised, that was nothing. Should have been at least $10 billion, in my opinion. But anyway... The settlement followed a 10-month investigation into the breach, which exposed personal data from around 57 million accounts, including 600,000 driver's license numbers. Uber is popular in Colombia, even though the government says it uses its use is illegal. The country has not yet specified regulated transport services like Uber, but has said it will suspend for 25 years the licenses of drivers caught working for the platform. Hmm, not playing around there. Of... Of those whose data was compromised by the breach, some 267,000, so really less than a dollar fine for every account compromised. That was Uber's payment. Less than a dollar. That's what your security was worth to people. Anyway. Um... The superintendency of industry and commerce said in a statement adding that Uber will have four months to show it is protecting users from fraudulent or unauthorized access to their accounts, among other things. Yeah. Uh, you better, um, in as part of that deal, make it so that they, someone has to actually be allowed to go into Uber servers without their permission to make sure they're being protected. Because keep in mind, one of the things about this data breach was that Uber didn't talk about it for months. It happened... And they didn't bring it up, and in fact, they found out who hacked them and paid them a lot of money not to talk about it. Now, I will give CEO Dara Karshahi this. He wasn't at the company when this happened. Travis Kalanick made the call to cover this up. And Dara Karshahi, in an attempt to show that Uber was going to be more transparent and more honest in the future, decided to talk about the data breach. Even though, really... Um, Admitting to mistakes is pretty much all he does. He doesn't actually fix anything as far as I am aware. But yeah, because of that, I would say, hey, you know what? You got to let us actually go into your computers uninvited and see if you're actually protecting people. And if you're not, we can find you or whatever it is we the government does to prevent this from happening. Anyway, the required improvements must be certified by an independent third party. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait a minute. This, this is wonderful. The required improvements must be certified by an independent third party chosen by Uber. <sighs> you know what's coming, folks. 
You know what's coming. You know what's coming, folks. <clears throat> me, 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 me. That is incredibly stupid. That is incredibly stupid. Does the government not have any concept of what Uber is as a company? Do they not know that Uber, when left to their own devices, can't be trusted? These, this company, you know, covered for Travis Kalanick for years. This company has been caught giving money to an organization that paid drivers to show up at Capitol Hill to protest a bill. This company has told drivers they don't want to see security footage when they are falsely accused of a crime because they by and large don't care. This is a company that is still three to four years after it was revealed figuring out what are they going to do about SA claims and safety issues. You want them to pick a third party independent arbiter? Like investigator? What? Uber's not going to pick that they're going to work for Uber. Uber's going to pick the third party independent party um whatever their title is. I'm going to say investigator. They're going to pick the one that is likely to side with Uber and give Uber a good report card. Morons! Anyway, Uber's Columbia office said in a statement, it has already shown local authorities that it has, quote, implemented various technological improvements to the security of our systems in 2016 and after. Well, I mean, that's probably true to a certain extent. Quote, we have also implemented significant changes in our corporate structure. <laughs> That's pretty much a lie, I, I, in my opinion, to ensure the respect of transparency in front of regulators and users in the future, it added. The company said in May it will spend $40 million over five years to open its third Latin American support center in Bogota in September. Yeah, because that's what they do. They spend a lot of money. They spend a lot of money on this. That, that That's all it is. So, anyway, this is... Yeah. What do you want me to say? I mean, I am glad that Columbia is actually ordering data to improve its security. I'm kind of surprised it took them this long. I mean, this story is, what, a year or two old at this point? Like, they're just getting around to talking about this? Is they're just getting around to telling Uber they need to clean up their act? No, no. You wonder why Uber doesn't take anyone seriously. Because by the time they come to the party... Like, by the time the police show up, the party's over. The party's over, and it's moved on to the next house, and you got to call the police on that party. That's what Uber's doing. And the fact that they're even going, that, I mean, when they said you have to choose a third-party independent investigator of your own choice, like Uber's own choice, it's like, yeah, that's, a, that's akin to the frat boy leader calling the police and requesting his friend's dad to come check in on them and tell them to keep the noise down. He's like, no, no, this is... Anyway, I never thought I'd be talking about this again. Never thought I'd be talking about this again. I am completely shocked this is still a thing. I would have thought they would have forced Uber to clean up their act a long time ago. I guess not, but, you know, they seem to be incredibly, incredibly slow. Well, I'm going to make a prediction, folks. There's going to be another data breach. There is so going to be another data breach. Maybe the second time this happens will be the time they actually take things just a little bit seriously. However, we're going to end right there because what else do you want me to say except morons? Absolute morons. Anyway, so what do you folks think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'd love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, if gas prices are getting you just a little down because of how expensive they're getting, check out the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. If you want more content from me that's a little different from apps and rideshare and video games and stuff like that, check out my other YouTube channels, Kevin T. Rodriguez, The App Entrepreneur Vlogs, and Autograph Hound. And finally, if you want to talk to me or other fellow rideshare drivers, check us out on Facebook at The App Entrepreneur Hangouts on Facebook. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.
morons!